the triple C trio of Netsai Marova, Councillor Cecilia Chimbiri and MP Joanna Mamombe are back at the center of attacks by President Emerson Nangagwa's government after the Minister of Home Affairs Kazembe Kazembe used the official opening of a senior officers conference to attack the ruling which acquitted the trio on allegations of communicating falsehoods. Commissioner General, you did great work in unearthing or exposing the fake abductions. For a long time, we, were, we used to have these fake abductions, abduction A, Munakata abductor, Wakato abductor, until you managed to expose that is a younger drama anyway. But then you have a in his delivery, Kazembe commended the police for handling the August 23-24 general elections professionally regardless of the complaints from other political players. The police have been accused of behaving in a partisan manner, especially as they banned election rallies of opposition leader Nelson Chamisa. In some of his rallies, police used force and tear smoke to disperse supporters. Even as he spoke, police had just invaded parliament where they forcibly removed triple C legislators from parliament. Allow me also from the onset to applaud the Zimbabwe Republic Police for policing our just ended harmonized general elections in an extremely excellent way. As the economy continued to decline, Crime has been on the increase with over 296,966 cases being recorded in eight months. The strategic performance update reports, SPU, we received from the Office of the Commissioner General, indicated that the organization recorded a total of 296,966 cases during the period 1 January to 30 August 2023, compared to 264,000 400 cases received during the same period in the year 2022. This reflects an increase of 4% in crime against the objective of limiting its growth to 7%. Police have not been spared from harsh economic environment with government paying them salaries which can't even fill a fuel tank of a Honda feet. Commissioner General of Police Godwin Matanga in his opening remarks acknowledged the hardships faced by these juniors. I have been conferring with my deputies and indeed all of you on ways to improve the welfare of members of the police service. As Robert Schuller would put it in the court, tough times never last, but tough people do, unquote. These contemporary difficulties have come to pass too. Police have come under attack for corruption and at times pure incompetence, something that has tainted the police and diminished its respect in the eyes of general public. Matanga was not generally pleased with this and gave a strong warning. Some of the challenges that confront the organization are an indictment on those charged with the burden of supervision. I will not continue articulating the gravity of this matter. Let the wise he did the voice of warning. Senior police officers from around the country converged at the Zetarapi Golf Club for a conference where they will discuss, among other things, which include the welfare of the police, their budgets, as well as their successes and challenges. Reporting for HSTV News and Current Affairs, Munotidaishe Kono Arare.